The first settler in the woods is generally a man who's outlived his credit or fortune in the civilized parts of the state. His time for migrating is in the month of April. His first object is to build a small cabin of rough logs for himself and his family. The floor of this cabin is of earth. The roof is of split logs. The light is received through the door and in some instances through a small window made of greased paper. A coarser building adjoining this cabin affords shelter to a cow and a, a pair of good horses. The labor of erecting these buildings is succeeded by the killing of the trees on a few acres of the ground near the cabin. This is done by cutting a circle around the trees two or three feet from the ground. This is day one of building the Townsend's Homestead. We're working on this very, very primitive cabin, this first structure on the site. And the very first thing we're gonna do is work on the foundation. Some of these cabins, most of these cabins probably had no foundation whatsoever other than the sill log that's sitting right on the ground. We're gonna put down some stones because we want this cabin to stay around just a little while. right there. We're setting our foundation stones out to our outer diameters on our cabin and we're choosing a, a size that's the same as Washington's cabins which is actually a very very common size about 14 by 16 probably on the outside edges the inside of this will probably be more like 13 by 15 on the inside. We've got our stones set and now it's time for the sill logs. These are the base logs here on the front and back of the building. And we've picked out a species. Most of the trees out here um, are tulip, but I wanted to pick something that'd be a little more um, sturdy for sort of ground contact here. So this side, there's a locust log. And the problem is, is that they're super heavy and they're super hard to chop. I can see why you wouldn't want to make a whole cabin out of these. We are learning a lot already. Just, you know, we've had a lot of uh, starts and stops. Just getting these logs into position because they're so One, heavy. Two, three, go. Nope. Oh, We've been working on this a couple days, just getting the base down and learning about how to get these notches kind of right. And it's been, um, there's been a lot of kind of back and forth about exactly how we should get these notches done. We're doing a, a V notch, which is based on uh, what we saw at the lower Swedish cabin. It's a, a very simple notching system, kind of similar to the, to the, the straight saddle notches, except you're trimming both sides of the log 
um, kind of a V-shape on one side and then the inverted V-shape on the other side. We've, we've learned a lot about just how to get started with that. We tried some notches, even sawing that V in, um, but it's, it's uh, I think, really going to be one of those just sort of, you got to feel your way to get that notch, and, and those first few that you do aren't very good, but that's, that's just how it works. So our bottom logs are sill logs in this case, and they're pretty big. Moving these sill logs into position, um, especially when they were this big, you definitely can't do it with just one or two persons. You really need to have a good four, five, six man crew to get some of these bigger logs in. And it's quite likely that if you were just doing one or two people on this, you'd definitely stick to smaller size logs. Did you guys fix the cornbread or is it just baking right now? So now that we've done our foundation, we can move on to smaller logs. And these ones have already been prepped and stripped. And uh, really, I've done these almost a season beforehand. That's something that would have been done as you find your place to, uh, to build your house. You would come in and start cutting down logs ahead of time. That's what we did here. And these hopefully uh, dried out. They're a little bit smaller. Should be a lot easier to handle. We can move a little faster. So we're here at the, this is the back side of the cabin where the fireplace is going to be. And uh, we're gonna have to cut out the opening for the fireplace. And so we've measured this, this top log. And this is the first log that's gonna get cut. The log over the top will actually be sort of the, the, the lintel log or the mantle log that is at the top of the fireplace opening. But since these logs come down and they get really close to each other, hopefully almost touching, um, we're gonna have to actually uh, kind of get the opening notch here so that once this log uh, wall has been built up, we can get in there with a saw blade and cut down and get through these logs. But if we don't cut this uh, ahead of time, it can, it'll be very difficult to get in there. We're gonna do this uh, same, same idea when we get to the window opening or at least the first log that's gonna get cut out of the window opening and for the, the door here on this side, but they're gonna be a little higher up. This is day five we've been working on this. Uh, we've had you know some people in and out, but uh, pretty much working all day, five days. We've learned a lot and we're moving a little bit faster and much more precise as we've been working on this structure. It's always kind of like that, a learning process. Still 
Ooh, that's pretty. That's real pretty. Yeah. Jeez. Did it get any better? I don't think so. Is it closed our gap quite a bit over here. I think we're looking pretty good. It's going to go deeper on that. Uh, Where is it? Is it yeah. still touching this outside edge? Yeah. So if we, if we take your side down at least an inch, right? Yeah, and then we got to rock it this way some. So, yeah. So the rock the notch that's on the outside. outside. Yeah. And then that will, that you think, and that will help the tourists a little bit yeah. too. Yeah. Looks about right. Good. you guys with your notch. We're ready to okay. Beautiful. <laughs> it's uh it's been I don't know we've been working on this guy about uh, eight or nine days and obviously we're we're doing pretty well. This is the last round of logs for the main body of the cabin. As soon as we get the last couple logs on here, we're going to start working on the on the uh, roof structure. And uh, this process has been well. Obviously, we're behind schedule. It's been it's taken a lot more time to sort of get up to speed. And as we've gone up the the uh, structure here, we've we've worked a lot harder on getting the notches um, sort of tighter. Uh, the the bottom structure we were really just learning about how the notching was going and when I first started looking at those at the cabins that were existing from the time period I thought oh you know those those notches are pretty sloppy um, but now looking back on it and and looking at our notches uh, they did an amazing job and if you've seen the ones that are hewn houses they are works of art I can't imagine trying to get a notch that good it will take me uh, several structures before I get anywhere close to being able to make a notch as good as those period notches but it's been even though it's you know taken a lot longer maybe than than we expected I think we're learning so much about how these structures go together how long it would take how much man hours uh, that a structure like this would take even though it's a simple at least in the time period quick structure still very labor intensive um, a lot of materials have to be used on this and a lot of time we we have we have more tools than they had um, we've got more time than they have and still uh, it's it's hard for us to do it as fast as they talked about being able to make one of these structures so uh, I I am really enjoying this process but I wish it would go faster <laughs> But nonetheless, this has been such a satisfying project. Every log that goes up, you can, you can start to see 
it building and it, it's really it gets more and more exciting as we go i can't wait to get to this roof section uh, that is going to be very challenging i'm really not quite sure how it's going to go together yet but i'm so excited to you know really see this thing start to take shape 